Okay, this is staff ed for the basic back tuck. First and foremost, it's important to know how to take off. So have the gymnast start with their arms at horizontal and just do a straight jump up to the panel mat. Very good, and one more time. This time start with the arms down, swing to horizontal, flatten the hips, and let the athlete feel as they use the plie jump, the arms assist the lift. Very nice, and as you notice, Lexi is keeping her shoulders on top of her hips versus bending over and just whipping them back. Okay, so as you're watching and starting back tucks, this is very important to watch. The plie jump comes from the quads. Can you just plie? A little bit lower. Yes, and keep the shoulders up, okay? If they don't plie or they rock forward, it's just gonna be a whip versus a jump. So you wanna see the shoulders and hips rise. Ready, one more timer and jump. Okay, and you can do that, of course, up to two blocks, um, even as high as up to three. Um, if you want to teach the athletes about elevation, make them aware of their shoulders because they also need to know how to block their shoulders up. All right, now we're gonna go over to a cheese wedge here. And the basic concept is a back roll. So you start in the position that we just started the jump in, arms at horizontal, squat down. Now they're gonna press through straight and then go back down, go straight then back down, back roll, finish. Okay, one more time. And the reason you do the straight is that's the feeling of jump. Let it go up to releve, flatten your hips, and then roll back down. Very good. Now, stand at the beginning, and I want everyone to watch the shoulders, okay? We talked about blocking the shoulders up, and there's a key to be able to block the shoulders up and then tip the shoulders backwards and the timing of that is what creates the rise and the rotation. Because if you block the shoulders up and you don't roll them back at all, then you're gonna get stuck in the air. So Lexi's gonna do a back roll this time and she's not gonna roll her shoulders back. She's just gonna hold them forward. Just sit back and try to keep your shoulders forward. It's a very slow, no rotation. All right, let's try it again. Now I'm gonna have her go up through the releve and then do the back roll. Go up, there's the shoulder block, and then the shoulders go back and roll. It's important that they understand that the rotation comes from pulling the shins over the head. One more time. Same exercise, watch how she picks her feet up after this would be a jump, and then roll back and hold the shape. Very good. All right, now to understand rotation, there is a drill over here at the bar or really anywhere that they can hold their hands onto the back. And she's gonna lift up with flat hips, which is the jump, and then the tuck is late. And again, now if the tuck is early and the hips don't lift, watch what happens. The hips don't rise. And then you're gonna end up with counter rotation. So again, bring the hips up, flat, and then tuck. Very good, now I'm gonna have her do that. Let go of the bar and stand up to a finish. So they go up straight, then they roll and finish. Very good, all right. Now, for the back tuck, we're gonna start on the floor, or actually we're gonna start on the block and we're gonna go down. Go ahead and turn around, Lex. Okay, I would definitely begin teaching the back tucks from a raised surface. This can be into a resi, um, but teach the arms and the chest set and the legs and the shins get rotation along with the hip curl. So first she's just gonna do a straight jump starting with her arms down, swing them to horizontal and jump. That's correct. And as basic as this seems, it's amazing how many times they're gonna make the mistake of whipping forward, backward. You need to go through extension on the jump. Use the arm swing to horizontal. The reason the arm swing doesn't go over the head is because that does not teach them how to roll the shins up through the arms. So I'm gonna have Lexi do a back tuck. She's gonna to set to horizontal and I want you to watch how quickly she picks her feet up and brings them up to her arms versus her arms or chest towards her legs. Very good. Again, shoulders are up, plie jump, 
That is a very, very good back tuck. And again, I would do a lot of them from up to down before you went on the floor. If you do not see the hips and shoulders rise, go back to the straight jumps. Ready? And. Good. And one more back tuck. Watch the rise and rotation and the shins come through. Very nice. 